In the ever-twisting and turbulent world of the young and the restless, few moments have been as fraught with tension as Sharon's latest desperate attempt to evade justice. Her intricate web of lies, delivered tearfully to Detective Chance Chancellor, not only throws Daniel Romolotti under the bus, but also showcases just how far she is willing to go to protect herself. The question hanging over Genoa City now, has Sharon ensnared Chance in her deception, or will he see through her fabrication? Sharon's Story A Thinly Veiled Lie It was a dark and stormy night, one that Sharon Newman had hoped would lead to reconciliation, not the nightmare that followed. According to the version of events, Sharon tearfully recounted to Chance, she had gone to see Heather in an effort to apologize and make peace, especially regarding her previous tensions with Lucy. It seemed like a genuine attempt to mend fences, a step toward leaving the past behind. However, upon, arri upon arriving, Sharon claimed to have witnessed a volatile argument between Daniel and his wife, Heather. The fight, she said, quickly escalated. Voices were raised, accusations were hurled, and in a shocking turn, Daniel allegedly slapped Heather during the argument. Sharon told Chance that she was horrified by what she witnessed. She tried to intervene, she said, but Daniel's fury could not be contained. Fearing for her own safety, Sharon fled the scene, leaving Heather and Daniel in the midst of their explosive confrontation. It was this story that Sharon tearfully presented to Chance, hoping to manipulate his emotions and paint herself as a helpless witness caught in a tragic situation. Sharon's goal was simple shift suspicion away from herself and onto Daniel, whose reputation as a loving husband would make such allegations hard to believe. A deception at play. Sharon's attempt to manipulate the narrative isn't shocking for those who have followed her troubled journey over the, over the years. She's been a character defined by her survival instincts, often willing to cross lines to protect herself. Yet this latest move, to frame Daniel as a murderer in order to cover her own tracks, is a new low, even for her. The irony is not lost on those familiar with Daniel's character. His love for Heather was well known, and anyone close to the Romolotti family would be hard-pressed to believe he could snap to the point of murder. But as Sharon spins her tale, we have to wonder, is she truly fooling Chance? Detective Chance Chancellor is a man known for his sharp instincts and dogged pursuit of the truth. For him to fall for such a thinly veiled lie seems improbable. Yet, Sharon's story is not entirely implausible, at least on the surface. The details, her witnessing the argument, Daniel's moment of violence, and her subsequent flight in fear, are carefully crafted to tug at Chance's protective instincts. Could Chance, the seasoned, seasoned detective, really be by Chance's investigation, the case against Daniel? In the wake of Sharon's confession, Chance seems to focus his attention squarely on Daniel. The idea that a man could murder his wife during a heated argument is tragic but not unheard of, and Sharon's carefully timed revelations place Daniel at the heart of the crime. The more Chance digs, the more complicated the situation becomes. If Daniel truly loved Heather, as everyone believed, then why would he resort to such violence? As Chance begins to piece together the puzzle, Sharon's narrative threatens to send him down a dangerous path. By framing Daniel, Sharon deflects suspicion from herself, but also risks painting Daniel as a cold-blooded killer, a portrayal that few would find believable. However, murder investigations are complex, and what might appear to be a crime of passion could have deeper, darker roots. If Chance focuses solely on Daniel, Sharon's scheme could go undetected, at least for a while. The question remains, will Chance allow himself to be fooled, or will his instincts lead him to the truth? Could Daniel truly have been pushed to his breaking point, or is he simply an innocent man caught in Sharon's manipulative game? Daniel, a man in crisis. It's not just Chance who finds himself ensnared by Sharon's lies. Daniel, already reeling from Heather's death, now finds himself under suspicion for her murder. The weight of Sharon's accusations begins to bear down on him, and despite his love for Heather, the narrative around him starts to shift. Friends and family who once supported him begin to question whether they really knew him. Did Daniel, in a moment of blind rage, strike down the woman he loved? Or is he the victim of a carefully constructed plot designed to ruin him? The complexity of Daniel's character adds another layer of tension to the unfolding drama. He is a man known for his loyalty, 
his devotion to his family, and his commitment to those, to those he loves. But as the investigation deepens, the evidence, however circumstantial, starts to pile up. Daniel's own grief and confusion make it difficult for him to defend himself against Sharon's accusations. His emotional state, exacerbated by the tragedy, only serves to complicate matters further. Could it be that Sharon's manipulation is so effective because it plays into the doubts and fears Daniel harbors within himself? As the walls close in around him, Daniel's world begins to unravel, and the possibility of clearing his name seems more distant with each passing day. Chance's Dilemma Intelligence versus Emotion Detective Chance Chancellor is not easily swayed, but Sharon's performance is designed to strike at the heart of his protective instincts. His emotional involvement in the case, particularly his feelings of sympathy for Sharon, could cloud his judgment. Chance has always prided himself on his ability to remain objective. But, but Sharon...